are you ready to get started as a personal virtual assistant? I'm gonna walk you guys step by step of the process of how to get started, what it is, and basically how to make the most of the experience of being a personal virtual assistant. So first of all, what is a personal virtual assistant or a personal assistant in a shorter term? So essentially, instead of working directly with the client on helping them out with their business or their marketing or their sales, you're working directly with them. You're focused on what they're focused on and essentially you're becoming kind of their second brain, which is what we do in 2XU. So your day-to-day -day would be different and a lot of our personal assistants at 2XU, they have even different time zones as their clients basically shift over and move around in the world depending on again on what their client needs and the first thing you want to do is you want to build your expertise of being a personal VA so what I mean by this is learning what it is that they do from day to day and there's a lot of really amazing vlogs on there on YouTube on, on TikTok that you can find where they walk you through like hey this is what my typical day looks like this is what my typical to-do list looks like and honestly the biggest part of building your expertise is also building out your productivity system as a personal VA. Now, what that means in a deeper sense also is that you are building out your routine so that it's easy for you to track your client. And honestly, when you are a personal VA, you are managing your client, not the other way around. You're making sure that their life makes sense, that they're supposed to be where they're supposed to be, like making sure they get their flights on time, if they're traveling internationally, making sure they have their passport, everything else before they even leave. I know a couple of personal VAs who will actually create the whole itinerary, a packing checklist, will go through that checklist with their client before the flight and make sure that their client has an easy access to their flight itinerary, their Airbnb, all of the basic files in a packet, in a Notion page. So then for their client, it's easy for them to just grab the information that they need. So again, depending on the client that you might have or that you might find, it's going to look different as well. Next is know what works. Actually get templates, maybe even walkthroughs. Maybe if there's many courses that are available of how to be a personal VA, you need to learn and see what they actually do so then you can start experimenting and creating systems of your own. Now what that means is that say you're following this one personal virtual assistant who's been doing it for a while and they walk you through, this is how I create the meeting agenda for my client, this is how I schedule out their day, you're actually then starting to write down and know what works and what doesn't. So then once you start getting clients, you have a little bit more of an expertise and knowledge of how to do certain things based on other people. You can also then interview and if you can, try to interview people who are or who have been doing this for a while because then you can again start learning the actual work that goes into being a personal VA rather than getting content from someone else you're getting them direct from that person so don't be afraid to ask questions to find Facebook groups or LinkedIn groups where there are personal VAs so then you can interview them and get to know what it is that they do next is start creating a personal OS so what it is is it's a personal operating system so very similar to when you are a whole business you have an operating system of like hey this is how marketing works this is how sales works this is how our operations work so on and so forth you want to create one for you and your client so then you have a way to run their life that's what's an operating system so it's a way it's a system on how to operate their life so this could vary from creating their OS for email management like how they would usually respond to emails the templates they might have the assets uh, you're creating an OS for their calendar management their travel management as well as some of the contact or personnel management you're managing things like their wife's birthday making sure gifts are sent out if they have kids managing that as well so essentially what you're building is kind of a way for you to have a questionnaire for your client as you onboard them of like hey these are the 50 things I need to, to help run your business uh, to help run your life basically and I would love to get to know this so you're creating your own personnel file on your client so then later on as you guys build systems as you work together for six months to a year you have a quick reference point basically on what are the main things that they need, what their preferences are, and you can just have that on file. Next is it's really important to master contact management. What this means is you want to master your client's network so then it's easy for them to be able to ask you like, hey, who was that guy? His name was like Peter. I met him in like Scotland so it's easy for you to pull up personnel file again I'm putting this as kind of one of the first things you want to master because you want to master the, the art essentially of 
information management, but contact management is just a very specific example I wanted to give of as you're becoming the second brain for your client, there's going to be an overwhelm of information for them and you're supposed to be that point of clarity for them. So again, going back to that example of like they did a networking event, for example, they done it like six months ago, but then they met someone else like, hey, I think you should get to know Peter. I met him six months ago. So then for you as the extension basically of a second brain, you can pull up the information of Peter really quickly. You've mastered how to put everything on file. It's the same thing for other things of like, hey, do you remember, you know, that hotel I stayed at when I was in Europe a month ago? Or hey, do you remember which tool I bought at that place? So it is really all down to managing the information of your client. So then for them, it's going going to be a little bit harder to have things fall through the cracks because you have everything written down. So honestly, this part is just mastering information management so that it's easy for you to get your work done. Next is to start finding clients on job sites or as a really quick place is also Facebook groups. So in Facebook groups, I've seen it so many times where people are just looking for a personal VA, not much of a marketing VA or a operations VA. They just need someone to manage them and take things off of their plate. So finding jobs in the usual sites on like Google jobs or LinkedIn jobs, or if you're Filipino, online jobs at PH is still a good place. But if you want to be a little bit more creative, you can go ahead and start searching for them and hunting them down a little bit on different Facebook groups as they're looking for referrals or looking for a specific person with this skill set. Next is you can start getting referrals. You know, let's say that you work really well with someone, the business changed, or they just don't need a personal VA anymore. Always ask for referrals, which brings me to my next point of asking for testimonials and essentially building out a little bit of your own portfolio of what it's like to work with you as a personal VA as you start getting more and more clients as well. Next, and this is really important and key as well, is to create documentation for what it is that you do. What I mean by this is start creating your setup of a procedure or your recipe book of how you would usually manage an email, calendar, travel management, information management, what tools have you used. That way there's an easy reference point for you if you are interviewing for another client of like, yeah, I've used Trello, I've used Notion, I've used X, Y, and Z. This is the process that I usually would use for working with clients. That way you are showing your expertise. You're showing that you're someone who's willing to lead the client because honestly, that that is the person that they need is they really need someone to steer them in the right direction to have them be just in a little bit of a less overwhelm, which is why they need you. And finally, and this will help your career a lot long term, especially is to start building case studies. Now, what case studies usually are is it's a walkthrough of where you're client was at before they started working with you and where they are now because they've started working with you. So what are the results? What are the lifestyle changes that has happened because you work with this client? And then the next time that you are looking for someone else or you're trying to advertise your services, you have case studies that people can go back to very easily. Now, as flexible as being a personal VA is, it is one of the easier ways to get started as well as a virtual assistant, mostly because you're kind of a jack or jill of all trades where you're doing everything everywhere else you know if your client is working on marketing you're probably also focused on marketing if your client is focused on operations you're probably also focused on operations in the side of the business at least so as you are getting started as a virtual assistant it might be best that you're starting out as a personal virtual assistant because you get exposed to so many things as you're working directly with your client then later on you're like oh yeah I love marketing I actually love doing copywriting so then you can start specializing from there now if you guys like this video of course make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below what type of virtual assistant are you and i would love to know and if you still haven't yet make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any videos every sunday and thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here hope you guys have an amazing day and remember that small steps matters and i'll see you in the next video bye